Hello dear IELTS players, welcome back to my channel, my name is Mr. Beard. In this video I want to present to you 6 ideas about how I thought the IELTS could be better as a game in general. These ideas just come to me randomly and I just want to show them to the community and you can let me know what you think about them down in the comments below. Let's start with idea number 1, murky waters. I personally am a fisherman, some of you may know. I spend a lot of time next to water. Last summer I spent probably over 30 nights on the shore bank of rivers. I love going fishing, I love sitting next to water and I know how water behaves when it rains, when it doesn't. Murky waters in the isle would be an amazing addition in my opinion. Right now waters kinda just they are how they are, they don't really change transparency that much, but when it rains in the isle it would be actually very cool in my opinion for the water to get murkier because the disturbance, the rain causes to the water actually makes the mud from the bottom just rise up and the water just gets murky. This will make rivers and lakes just get murkier and dinosaurs will be having way harder time seeing what's under the water, for example a dinosuchus hunting. Now when it doesn't rain for a couple of days it could actually get clearer and clearer and it would be harder for dinosuchus to hunt in those conditions and not only dinosuchus, baryonyx, osteoraptors, Comimus, Spinosaurus, all of them. Now, drinking from muddy waters is not always easier for land creatures as well. Drinking from mud waters would actually make getting water and filling your water bar way harder because you're also drinking mud that comes with that water. So it will take longer for you to refill your water. This will make it easier for water predators to kill you when you drink water when it's raining and it's muddy. This is basically to balance the fact that when it doesn't rain for a couple of days the water is so clear you don't have to worry about getting ambushed so it's harder for predators to hunt you when the water is just clear this you see some balance brought to this mechanic as well adding this muddy water gets you less water as you drink and it takes longer can also be applied to lakes and I'm talking about smaller lakes on gateway here they could actually be more stagnant and you also get less water from those lakes so you'd much rather go to a river to get water way faster than drink from that lake probably for like 40 seconds until you refill your water well if it's safe to drink from there sure but you never know this will make like small lakes on gateway also more stagnant and more okay I'll drink from here but it's disgusting and I get less water because of it it's just an idea that comes with murky waters it doesn't necessarily need to be added it's just an opinion let me know what you think idea number two birds that will steal fish from rivers and lakes and I'm talking AI birds here that basically steal fish from water just like Pteranodor steals them and these birds will actually carry the fishes from the water onto the land next to the water to eat the fishes. This will actually make it easier for dinosaurs that have fishes on their diet, for example Herrerasaurus I believe, to actually go on next to rivers and lakes. They will see birds there eating fish they caught from the rivers or the lake there and it will just steal that fish and you know refill its diet that way not not having to go swim for them this was actually a cool idea that came to me when i thought about how birds act in red dead redemption 2 you know they just go in above water and they just grab things and they eat the fish and stuff it would make the ecosystem and just witness those uh, birds just steal fishes it would bring the game to life and the nature to life and this would actually be an interesting idea let me know what you guys think about this one i want to take a second to ask you if you'd like to subscribe to my channel it will mean a lot to me and i i think a lot of people that watch my channel are not subscribed so if you actually consider doing that i appreciate it a lot idea number three as we know floods and droughts are gonna come to the aisle floods are basically when it rains the water level rises droughts when it doesn't rain the water level goes down this can work with murky waters as well well we focus on floods here when water Water rises during rainy weather we could actually see along murky waters vegetation that's in the water going down the river or you know just floating in the water everybody that spent or went to a river that when it actually rained in that period you will know and see the river carry downstream all kinds of branches logs just things next to the river right just as the water rises it just rips branches from trees and carries it down 
downstream. This is not necessarily, it's just visuals basically, it will make waters feel more, more interesting to look at. It will bring the nature to life, it will make the game look more appealing. Because right now if you look at rivers, it's just water flowing down, it's just, it's just the water, right? The swamps look amazing in my opinion, all the vegetation and stuff. The rivers right now is just water, right? And it would be actually a cool idea to see a log come down the river and dinosuchuses and dinosaurs that actually go under the water will see these vegetations floating under the water because right now it's just vegetation sticking out from the bottom you know those uh, long uh, vegetations at the bottom of rivers and lakes well right now when it rains and the floods happen you will see these textures of vegetations just floating down the water and the water being muddy as well and murky it will add to the feeling that oh my god it's raining it's getting bleh you know the water is just bleh idea number four we all know that herosaurus can climb trees in the aisle well my this idea focuses on that imagine if a dinosaur like for example an ankylosaurus or diabloceratops or all of these dinosaurs could actually go next to the tree that herera is in and just shake the tree for the herera to just fall down because right now dinosaurs have the ability to shake trees for fruits or coconuts or whatever of course the bigger the tree the harder it will be to shake the dinosaur out of the tree because it's kind of hard to shake a tree that's very tall and very strong but if it's like a coconut tree and a hera is there i don't see a problem why diablo can just shake the tree and hera just falls down so hera can actually needs to jump away and run to another tree if he doesn't want to just drop and break its legs i think it's an interesting idea that i would like to see in the game for example ankylosaurus it's way bigger than a diablo and it will actually hit a bigger tree than just a coconut tree with the tail and it will shake that bigger tree and herers will just fall down or it will be harder for them to sit in that tree which will make them will force them to jump to other trees which will, it's just an interesting idea to think about it just makes the game more fun and more oh there's a hera let me this disturb him you know it's just fun i like hipsies are gonna probably gonna climb trees baby megalanias i think are gonna be able to climb trees what do you guys think idea number five mating calls i've seen this uh, idea a lot in my comment section and i heard it from people and i think it's an interesting idea that will promote nesting as well each dinosaur having a mating call and this will work basically just like in the hunter call of the wild when you hear a reindeer or a lion or or any animal you're hunting in that game do a mating call you'll get this uh, pop-up that basically tells you from that direction you heard a mating call and it's actually gonna be if it's your species you're gonna recognize it but if it's any other species doing the mating call you're just you're either one not gonna see the pop-up you're just gonna hear like a normal sound that's like just now in the game like any other sound or or two you're just gonna see the pop-up but it's gonna say unknown dinosaur which is interesting but i think it makes more sense to not be a pop at uh, at all it's just gonna pop up when it's your own species the other four calls don't have a pop-up so it doesn't make sense really so you would just hear them like a normal call but of course you can discuss this idea down in the comments i'll read them idea number six when i was a kid i went into forests quite a lot when i went to my grandma and everyone that went into forests as well during summer times and stuff know that before you enter a forest the forest just seems dark right now in the aisle you can actually see a little bit into the forest but in reality as you see in this picture outside of the forest before you enter them it's just completely dark because your eyes are not accustomed to the lighting that is in the forest you have to enter the forest for you to see what's in there which is actually an interesting idea i thought about and this one will make um, chilling next to forest way dangerous because things could sneak up on you and they can actually see you right uh, from uh, inside the forest and you won't see them because it's hard to see inside the forest the light is not the same and it, you risk being ambushed basically it gives a, a carnivores uh, more advantages to hunt you and it gives herbivores more thought process to make you okay let me not chill here because i might get ambushed okay even if it's a beautiful spot i either risk sitting here and get ambushed or i just go like a few meters in that direction and just be kind of away from the forest but you also risk being 
being seen because if you the more you go away from a forest the more in an open field you are and you kind of putting yourself in the middle of a field where everything can see you so you could chill next to a forest right you could even chill in the forest right if you want to but yeah i think it's an interesting idea right to have forests seem dark on the outside when before you enter them and when you enter them it just lights up it's just it, it happens if you ever went into a forest and there's a bonus idea i come up with you don't really need to take this one seriously maybe you do maybe you do not it's uh, idea number seven i just had this idea in my mind that humans before they left the gateway they had these alarms set around gateway and when dinosaurs walk past them <coughs> They will just do this short, very loud sound to let uh, things know around that there's a dinosaur there. Basically, let humans, in case they lost the dinosaur, know, oh my god, something triggered that. If they're big enough, they activate the alarm. So, in case a boar walks next to that alarm, it doesn't activate. Only if it's, like, bigger than an omni or something like that, it then it activates, which makes sense. The sound will be basically, like, maybe three beeps that are very loud and that's it. It's not like a car alarm that just goes on forever for, like, five minutes driving everybody insane then it probably goes on cooldown for like two or three minutes in case it's for people to not spam them constantly i think it's an interesting idea right it will make people like herbivores could actually use them to chill next to them and if something approaches that doesn't know there's an alarm there it just dings and herbivores are like oh my god there's a player here let me run or let me let me put on myself on guard and carnivores could actually avoid them if they know where they are and again people who know gateway will be will know how to avoid them maybe there's gonna be a system how you avoid them that would be interesting and also this idea also brings that in the future when humans come into the game they will actually be able to build alarms themselves and just place them around the island wherever they want but these in my opinion should be on charges rather than be non-stop like the uh, ones already built on gateway so for example if a human is able to craft an alarm it's just gonna have like three charges and that's it you need to either craft another one or i don't know rebuild the one you just placed so you know it's it's not the op you just put one down and forever there's an alarm there it's just annoying right so it's something to worry about it will probably jump scare people that don't know they're there you just hear loud ding next to you and you're like oh my jesus <laughs> it's just the aisle is supposed to be a scary game and <laughs> it's just gonna be a fun fun jump scare to witness <laughs> right you're gonna be like oh my it's just an alarm i just everybody knows i'm here now and the thing is you don't know what's at that alarm let's say that you're a herbivore chilling somewhere and you just hear an alarm was it a rex was it another herbivore was it quets was it a herrera you never know so you you get that panic inside of you oh my god what was that i need to hide do i need to hide tell me everybody what you think about these ideas in down in the comments below it was me mr beard i hope you enjoyed this video tell me what you liked what you didn't like you can leave your own ideas about the aisle down in the comments what you would like to see in the game doesn't need to be big doesn't need to be small whatever idea you have you can leave it down and maybe somebody reads them i read them so yeah thank you guys for watching bye bye